Hi, and welcome to this flow paper tutorial on how to expand content. In this tutorial, we are going to go over our new Zoom features as well as how to expand content to add more to a complete article. Begin by opening your PDF using the Elements template. Today we are looking at expanded content, which allows you to add more content to an existing publication like this one. Here's how it works. Go ahead and select Edit. Up here is a zoom control that you can use to zoom in and out of your pages to get a better look at things. I want to add some more text to this article, but clearly there isn't enough room. Head on down here to this button, Add Expanded Content, which will take you to this new text editor. You can copy and paste your text into the editor and then adjust it. This editor supports headers, subheaders, links, paragraphs, and bullet points, basically anything you would expect with a rich text editor. Over here, you can add columns. Let's add an image to this new column. Great. Once you are happy with the changes you've made, go ahead up here and select Hide Expanded Content, and you will be directed back to your original page. You will see down here there is now an option to remove expanded content if you decide you don't need it after all. Now switch over to design mode to take a look at it. As you can see, our page looks the same, but you have an additional read on button added down here. And here's our additional content. Looks good. If you head to mobile view, you will see that it works just as well on a mobile device. It reflows just as you would expect with a one column layout instead of two. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching this flow paper tutorial, how to expand content. You can find more tutorials to help you through this process online. Thank you.